together tonight for a really important issue that I probably barely need to introduce. There's a humanitarian crisis happening on the U.S.-Mexican border right now. It is a crisis that has been there. It is a crisis that is getting worse. It is a crisis that the Trump administration only wants to make even worse because it suits their political ends. And frankly, I'll speak for myself, but I guess I'm speaking, I could speak for some of you. I've had enough. And we, there, people should not be dying. People should not be kept in camps. These are concentration camps. We need to call them what they are. Yes. And we need to close them. And we need to close them now. So we thank you for being here tonight. We're going to have a couple of speakers come up and talk about the situation in the U.S. We're going to have some great speakers come up and talk about the situation in Europe because, frankly, similar things are happening here in Libya, across the Mediterranean, and Europeans are looking the other way, and that's also not okay. We're also going to have a candlelight vigil. We'll pass out some candles in a bit. Still a little light, but we'll do what we can. We're going to have a reading of names of migrants that have perished at the border because it's important that these people are not forgotten. It's important that we remember their names and remember their spirit and remember why they've died. Um, and after that, we don't want to leave everybody sad. We want to leave everybody empowered. So we've got a list of actions that you personally can take to end the situation at the U.S.-Mexican border. So again, thank you for being here. And I would like to introduce first Anne with American Voices Abroad. And she's just going to give us a little bit of history of where we are and how U.S. policy, unfortunately, has gone this year. Anne? 